hey my youtubers hey my subscribers hey my walking by thank you guys for staying with me um the dog is barking don't pay that any mind but what i'm here to talk about today is meal that we eat on a regular you know some of us can't afford to eat it every day some of us can't but i'm talking for the ones that probably eat this thing this protein from january to december we mostly have that in our daily meal because that's what we can afford so um like for instance chicken what i'm going to be doing today there's only probably one two or three ways people might know how to prepare this but trust me guys there's a lot of different ways and they might say what well, a person can cook chicken so often but as again that's maybe what they can afford or you know um maybe that's what they love so just to say this to say that this is something that we can take her and make fashion and do a lot of stuff to you. you'll be surprised just say you know i had curry today i'm going to try brown stew tomorrow or i'm going to fry or i'm going to fry and then barbecue or the list goes on you know what i'm saying so i'm, I'm going to do something for you today hope you guys like it i would love if you guys um in the comment section probably tell me what you would like me to try i am not a chef i am somebody that loves cooking and will try anything so let's get into this video thank you for listening my chicken first guys so I try to get some thin strips from it as I can so these are my strips that I get and what am I going to do is put a piece of parchment paper over it and I'm not gonna use the rough side I'm gonna use the flat side and I'm going to Try to get it as thin as possible, and we are trying to beat this out. So we try to beat it out, not in our dust to go around like that. We beat it so that it goes out and to get it as flat as we can. So this is how thin we want our chicken breast to be because we don't want it to you know take a long time to cook we want it to cook evenly so we try to get our pieces all our pieces thin as we can and i'm gonna put them in this container and now i'm going to put in on herbs i'm going to use a little oyster sauce and the reason for doing this and not using any salt because this has salt in it so we're not going to use any salt on our chicken and that's probably about a tablespoon we're going to use some rosemary some paprika some complete seasoning and some poultry seasoning that's what, these are just, just a little dash guys not much and we are gonna 
rub this together and let it sit for a few minutes and as I always said, overnight is always the best thing to do. This, this is some parsley. And I'm going to Make that in small pieces. Bell peppers. So now guys, I am doing some mushroom. There are people might allergic to this. You can come up with whatever filling you want to put inside there. So I'm just gonna I'm not going to crowd the pot. I'm just going to lock in the spice that we put on them. Just for a little. So we are going to be doing our snow peas and our mushroom. So now guys, we are going to put in our onion. So in our container with our smoked peas and our mushroom, we are going to add our onion. our parsley our leek and our bell pepper we are going to put it in this let's stir this together i'm going to rest this aside and for our chicken that we here earlier we are going to be dicing these into some small strips And we're going to put it back into our mixture. We're going to do the rest of our meat. And then we are going to be adding some Philadelphia cheese. And we're going to put this aside and start get starting on our chicken breast.
so here guys we come to the end of our cooking and this is what my dish is look like hope you guys like it don't forget guys to comment subscribe and share without you i am nothing and i hope you guys appreciate me cooking for you so i'm gonna cut it and show you what inside looks like Like guys, uh oh, all my filling inside, and this is what the outside look like. So in here we have our some aragula and some red cabbage with some bell peppers and so on. So you can eat this with rice, potato, you make some gravy or you can eat it as it is and as you know hot is the best thank you guys for sticking and staying with me bye bye guys ciao Good day.